Hey guys, welcome to the Swingdom. This is Ben. I'm here with Foxy. Foxy is the golf pro here at Puppy Tracy Golf Center. Uh, I was just warming up here on the range, but Foxy's going to give me a lesson now. Excellent. Look forward to it. No. So are we going to be on course? Or you want to be on range? What do you want to do? Uh, I'll tell you, I'll have a little warm-up picture in five minutes. I've got a single club. A single club. I've got a single club. I mean, just play a seven-nine or whatever. Just listen to eight. So yeah, that's all right. It looks like a seven-nine. Yeah. Striker. You're watching The Swingdom. On the third tee at Bubby Tracy Golf Center with Andy Fox, Foxy, the golf pro. So I've got wind in my back. It feels good. Feel it, see it, yeah. it's it. So what's the meaning of your practice swings? So yeah, so I'm gonna, I take a practice swing really just to like decompress and take a breath. Okay. But okay, cool. I should, it's, the thing is my practice swing is nothing like my okay. actual swing. Practice swings, first one, yeah. do with a sense of feel. Trying to achieve the, um, the feeling or the sensation or the swing thought you're having mm -hmm. from what you're taking on the practice ground. Mm -hmm. Second one is to visualize the shot. Okay. So you um, Preempted what you're going to do, yeah. If you like, mm -hmm. so you've got a sense of understanding of what you want to see the shot. Okay, okay. so you're going to stand there, okay, straight back, straight through with feel, hold your finish, you completed your finish. I think that's really important. Is that my okay. practice swing? Yeah, okay. Right. And then the second one is to do your uh, sit, feel, feel what you're trying to achieve, which is obviously that shoulder left across to your right. Mm -hmm. Second one, see the shot. Now you've taken your alignment, haven't you? You've done that beforehand, didn't you? Yeah, okay, that's fine. Yeah. Like I said, I'm aiming for the gap in the hedge. Oh, you can do, plus a bit blurry, isn't it? Well, so I'm aiming at the tree, the very left end leaf. There's this little patch there. Go for Britella, go to the horizon. Okay, I'm going to the horizon. Okay. It's tiny it's, little thin tree, can you see it, right on top of the hill? Yes, I was gonna aim sort of four trees left of there. Okay. That's that, fine, yeah, yeah. perfect, pick, pick, pick one of those. Yeah, like it's that first one off of the gap as it comes back Hold up. Hold on, okay. Just look at that. Feel. Good. Visualize. <laughs> go, Foxy. There you go, Foxy. <laughs> On new. Yep. It's down there. That's perfect. Yeah. I think a, a five iron in the wind would have taken it just that little bit too far. So that's the thing. That's the thing I'm really working on right now on my own golf game, especially with Foxy, who I see weekly now, is this sort of visualization before the shot, set up the shot before the shot. Pre-shot routine. Yeah, don't, don't get impatient. So if you record this, generally speaking, you'll notice my practice routine for every shot that I play should be the same. It should be between 17 and 18 seconds. So when you get back... Yeah, I can... Put a timer on this. See if 18 seconds. Yeah. Uh -huh. Poetry. Yeah. You're going to get that bounce left. What'd you hit? Soft six. Eight, there, six A soft six. And then you come off the right side. Yeah. Let's go. Let's do it. We're both down the middle. It's Foxy doing it again. <laughs> hey. Entertainment value, really. That's, that's what Foxy's here for. I feel like Ricky Fowler today, look. <laughs> yeah. Puma it up all the way Puma through. Puma, Puma, Puma. Can we get a, can we get a spin, Foxy? Yeah, it can in a minute. I took myself in. <laughs> Beautiful. <laughs> there you go, that's me. Six iron as well, out driving the course pro. You're welcome. Good size of the difference, man. <laughs> <laughs> Same size as my oh, leg. Yeah. <laughs> and you're using F8s. 
I am, yeah. What are you? You got the Forge hey, Tech. Well, totally cobra up today, by the way. I love, yeah. The problem is, is when I buy a set of clubs, I then I then go all out and buy the everything. So, if you're playing in a match in a competition, yeah, right. When we got about there, yeah. What were we doing? We were chatting. Right. At that point, you need to pull away from your playing partner. Okay. And as you're walking up to your golf ball, you should then be assessing what's happening. Okay. So the lie of the ground, then you can yeah. get there, you can sort of think to yourself, okay, that's a slight downhill lie, yeah. but the ball's slightly above my feet, so the ball's going to slightly flatter and come off the right. Yeah. Okay. But we're not going to get there because it's still 350 yards and it's 360. Yeah. Okay. But you still need to be understand what's going to happen to that shot. Mm -hmm. Ball's lying good, for me anyway. For you it is, yeah. Okay, so I'm going to take a little three-wood, send it over the right-hand side. So I could, if I get this right, I don't think I've ever hit my three wood off the deck. Get the driver then, sir. There it goes. That's golf. That's a golf shot. Oh, look at that, Brad. Bounce. Is it in the crick? No, it's fine. It's short. <laughs> So I don't like this lie as much as I like your lie. If you bring the camera down here, you can actually probably see the definition of the ground. I don't know if you can see it any higher than you can down there. But the fairway's not, like over there it's much closer. I feel like I'm going to get a few blades of grass between the ball and the face. Yeah. Not, a not a lot though. It's basically what we talked about last time. Yeah. Get it down the left hand side, opens up the green, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a two shot, isn't it? Or three shot from the golf. Yeah. It's a golf. Short of the bunker, yeah, right. Yeah. That was, that was super. Two, two quality shots in front there. Yep. All about thinking about it. I do my best work on film. But what you'll notice is that your practice swings there were still really pretty fiery. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bring it back. You got because the practice swings are not about the speed, it's about the sensation, the feel. Okay. I'm trying to bring it, bring it, bring it to yeah. you. You know, when you commit to the shot, are my practice swings that much different from my actual swing? Mm -hmm. Are my practice swings much different from my actual swing? No. no. no? Okay. Yeah, because you have the commitment for the golf ball, but you've got nothing to resist against, have you? So if you're lashing at it, you're going to yeah. be lashing at the golf ball. Yeah. Which means that you're just going to have that element of misunderstanding. Okay. Yeah, you just see a golf ball that you know, swing at full speed with a, with a driver, you don't, but when they go to hit it, fuck, don't they? Yeah. You know? So, pins at the back, which is good. Back left, yeah. In case you were going to be a little bit more committed to the shot, but again, yeah. slightly on the club here, isn't it? The ball's going to be a little bit right left. Yeah. The, not the flight, but the actual spin. Yeah. So therefore, right to left spin, where's it going to go? It's going to go left. Okay. The green rolls left. Mm. Not a lot, but enough. Not a lot, but enough. Yeah. So as the ball checks out, it's going to yeah. check out. It's rolling, it's not going to check out. Okay. Because you, if you're below your feet, you've got side spins, so it's going to check out more. Yeah. So this way, you want it to release out towards the hole. So you've got uh, dark light, dark light, dark, haven't you? Yeah. Okay, so you want to land it probably around about six foot right. Okay, in the dark patch. Okay. And land it on the cut. Between dark and light. So you see the dark yeah. stripe going yeah, yeah. through. No, yeah. no, I'm just trying I'm trying to just visualize it. Okay. I'm thinking like just like a foot to the right of that. Oh no. Um I don't think the pen was fifty six. Yeah, I was thinking fifty six. Yeah, I think sixty would be just too much, it would just have to hit a bit far. Okay. Okay. Try really hard not to let my hands turn over still. Okay, so what have you done? You're taking four practice swings, haven't you? Yeah. So there's no continuity between tee shot to the last shot? No. Okay, so if you can try to maintain it all the way through. Now, sometimes you might have to take three or four to get a feel of it. But yeah. then, when you actually go to the shot itself, you still need to do those two. So, yeah. in other words, step away, take your three or four practice swings to visualize to get the feel of the club that you want, because you might want to change your mind. Yeah. Okay. Now, I like the feel of this club. Okay, good. All yeah. right. 
So from tee shot, second shot, third shot, to even chip, try to keep the same. Okay. Rather than lack, you know, trying to yeah. trying to chain or lash it. Yeah. I'm just trying to chain. I mean, mine, so you're. I mean, you're entirely right. My when I get a wedge in my hand, because as an amateur, those those doubts of thinning it or fatting it creep into my head. So this is really just getting a feel for the ground. That's sort of what I tell myself. It's like feel. Yeah, yeah. Feel the ground. But again, feel the ground. You're doing that naturally anyway. Yeah. But also, you should make sure that you're still visualizing yeah. and feeling and seeing the shot. Okay. All right. Yeah. Picture it as much as you can. Okay. Because if you don't, all you're doing is doubting the different sort of uh, Ooh, things. That's a bit too hard. You. That's a bit too hard. A little too far right. Hey, buddy. You committed. Yeah. You're committed. I set, committed to it. It the, didn't. The, the setup. It did a little bit, but the, okay. the, the setup was probably a little bit from the uh, too far right. Side. No, it was just a bit too sort of aggressive. All right, you should have brought everything in just to allow yourself to give yourself a bit of freedom. Okay. So just bringing everything in allows everything to stop. So if you stand really wide, yeah, you can't turn. No. But if you stand really close, you're able to create a little bit. That's of sort of the thing. It's a lot harder to judge with my arms than my body. So you okay. just you just you're just losing a bit of feel. Okay. It's almost like a force shot. And that's what it felt like. All right. There we go, as I'm walking up there, you see, I'm looking at the slope, I'm seeing it's going to pop up a little bit. Yep. All starting to nestle down a little bit, so yeah, give me an understanding. All right, biggest problem here. Are you going to div it? No, it's fine. Okay. But a little bit short sighted myself, haven't I? Yeah. Okay, so I've got what? I mean, your most consistent landing is on the green. Five. If if you're landing on the fringe, you don't. 15 yards to work with, aren't I? Yeah. I suppose I could set it in a little bit flat, but. So you're saying you want to be in the air for about 10 of those? Huh? You want to be in the air for about 10 yards? Possibly, yeah, because there's a little bit of a shelf going up, and if I land that a little bit on the flat side, yeah, it's going to send it off both ways, not quite taking that risk. So I'm going yeah. to try to land it past that plateau. The grain of the grass is going to slightly across me, so I'm going to open the clock face a little bit. Come across the lie of the ball to help it pop up. So hopefully I'll land this three or four inches onto the green and then it just release out. Oh I'll short it. Close. Close. You're three or four inches onto the fringe, not the green. Maybe a bit of a deceleration into it, wouldn't it? Yeah. I'm trying to keep it in there. I'm trying to keep sort of my my arm more still, but I find that I'm getting more movement in my legs when I do that. Okay, well that's that's a good sensation then. So that that's meaning that that's the next step you need to take then. Yeah. Take it away. It's a couple of good shots. I'll just say I don't I don't get this. I'm, this isn't a gimme. Um, let me think of that one. Well, thank two you. different ways to get a five. Yep. On we go. Are you going for the green? You're not doing it. I guess, I guess so. Yeah, well, it's 220 car is it's silly not to, isn't it? Yeah. At the end of the day, the rubbish is at the front and on the sides, nothing at the back, is there? No, no, there isn't. And you'll often see that on most golf courses. And that's why most people come up short. Because they because the golf course is already anticipating they're not gonna they're taking they're trying to eke out a few extra yards instead of taking up the next club or put it this way. Right. Yeah. Go down there. <laughs> okay. Alright. I'm down here. How much okay? Can you see the bottom of the of the, of the golf club? No. You can't, can you? No. What can you really see? You can only really see the edge of the tee in front of you, can't you? Yeah. Right. So if you got the same effect with the bunker, all right. Yeah. Imagine you got a bunker here. Yeah. All right. And you can't see the green. Mm -hmm. Your depth of field is to that bunker. So your speed of control is to that. And most people end up going in the bunker because of that. Yeah. All right. Because they don't know how far you've got to go to beyond it. So same as here, look. Yeah. So you don't from actually the edge of that bunker to the actual um, flag itself is probably another 35, 40 yards. Organized golf, bro. No teammates. <laughs> Pick up scraps. 
It's called recycling, and it's what you're supposed to do. So you don't have to touch it on it? I have to. Don't go too far right. Hold it. I like being there. Is it right? That's, That's a good place to be. Or is it? What? It better be over there, doesn't it? It may better miss, may better miss left than it is right. Yes. It's a safer miss left. I, I, yeah. I don't, I don't know. I think if you dodge that bunker in the front, it's, I mean, yeah, if you miss left, if I miss left in the exact same spot on the left, I'd technically be in fairway. Yeah. So you've got a better, better angle to come in from you yeah. slightly across the green. Oh, what was I saying? Don't it's miss better it right. to be left. Don't miss it right. <laughs> what fairway are you playing from? Uh, opposite of the third. So we are on hole four. Bubby Tracy Golf Center. It's a 210, 20 yard uphill par four. Very short par four, but there's a lot of sand. So you've got to be careful. They make it a lot easier for you on the left hand side than the right, but most people slice and miss right. So I had a, mi a minor slice using my three wood off the tee. And hopefully I'm close enough to the green that I can ship on. Foxy's challenged me to try to birdie this. Foxy is going to try to birdie this himself, and we'll see what happens. off the other side of the green. Nope. I did what you did. It's not good enough, is it? It's not great, no. I got distracted in the middle of my routine. Show a simple little hole. Oh yeah, is that a, is that a Corona Corona gimme? Well, it's two good fives. I told when I hate this hole. I bleep and hate this hole. Ah! Oh. So good. So that proves to us that uh, you can play a 576 yard par five in five, yeah. and a 220 yard par four in five as well. Yeah. In two completely different ways. Mm -hmm. You're trying to finesse one around. You're trying to blast it down there. Yeah. And this proves a point. Okay, we're a little yeah. bit rushed, weren't we? But even so. No, that's fine. I always feel like I always like because I've never actually played that hole with an eight iron off the tee. Like I've never played it sort of like 220 yeah, yards. Like I've never played it like pitching wedge 125 and then, you know, 80 to a hundred yards in. I've never done that. Well then next yeah, time. Next time I've, yeah, I should try it. You know, it's uh, but it proves a point. It's like, you know, you can hit, I suppose the expectation, isn't it? You know, if you hit a three iron from yeah. 220 yards and yeah. you knock it to about 15 foot. Yeah. You think, that's right. Mm -hmm. Then you hit a little chip from the edge of the green. You can't get it to 20 foot. No. That's infuriating. Yeah. And because the expectation is that much higher for a smaller shot. Yeah. 
So, you know, even when you hit a wedge from back where you were, just for example, you hit wedge wedge. Yeah. And you knocked it to 15 foot, you'd be, oh, that's all right. Yeah. 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 Depends where you are and what expectations you have. Yeah. Right. You always sort of want to have like a, a, a third shot for, for sort of birdie or par on a par four and. There you go then. Put, you're putting me right in a divot, is that what you're doing? No, no. I'm just going to show you the differentials between a lie and what can happen to the golf ball, isn't it? Yeah. And this is what we're talking about, isn't it? You know, you got your golf ball a little bit nestled down inside a bit of grass where the ball isn't so good. Mm -hmm. You know, you're going to get that little bit of gathering between club face and ball. Yeah. And the reaction, you can get a little bit of a flyer. Luckily, the grass, the grain of the grass is going with us, so we're going to get away with it, aren't we? There, you're going to get it nice and clean, aren't you? Nice I hope so. And you can get the distance control, can't you? Yeah. Blue marker 150 to middle end, sir. Yep. Okay. Wind's coming at us. Yeah. I'm thinking 160 club. Okay. That's fine. What else is happening? I've got it down slope right, left to right. Okay. So you've got two factors, haven't you? You're losing a little bit of distance to the balls below your feet. Yeah. Wind coming against your face slightly. Okay. So it's about, probably about a third of the club difference, isn't it? Yeah. So what do you want to Nine. Okay. So you want to get to an eight, don't you? And control yeah. it. Just control it a little bit. Get it in there. And this is where your practice wind's coming directly. I hate, I hate slope shots. Yeah, but then you've got to see it. If you yeah. see it and visualize it rather than just negative, right? Yeah. So you should be aiming at the left edge of the green. Yeah. If it comes off the left anyway. Yeah. The slope is helping you to yeah. enhance it. I've got a branch on the bottom of that tree in between the flag and the birch. The bottom, that's where I'm aiming. Right. Two meters. Yep. That. That's really perfect. That's really perfect. Foxy might not be able to play, but he's a bloody good caddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Is this just just for yeah? I don't think it'll grow back, but it makes me feel better. It makes you feel better. Yeah. Always repair your divots and your pitch marks. Oh, double crossed. Yeah. Oh. And you didn't get the bounce. The game proves the point of a lie, doesn't it? Yeah. It sort of did one of these in the air. It looked like it was going to come back right, and then halfway through the flight, it just ended up laughing. Well, mine. Yeah. yeah come on, slide off the toe. Yeah. Heavy lie. You twist it, huh? Yeah. But, accept it. Yeah. You don't mean to do it. You never mean to hit a bad shot. No. When you hit a good one, yeah, feels good. Rewards, enjoy it. You come back. You come back and you play more golf. But to be fair, that shot that I just hit is the one that I dread the most on this golf course. The entire fairway slopes left to right, and I just I'm all I don't slope shots. I have the <laughs> hardest time deciding. So slope shots for me are the absolute hardest shot. He's got to hit his ball. That's right. No, you're right. Hit it off, but what? But what did you actually do though? You I took the time to, to oh, figure it out, yeah. Pre-shot routine. That's the problem. Feel, visualize, and you're gonna get the results. Yeah. And the more you do it, the better it becomes. I've gotta play to... slower golf. Biggest, the biggest fault in golf, biggest fault in golf is fear itself. Wow. Put that on t-shirts. Didn't Ronald Reagan say that? I don't know. Oh no, good lie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. You see, I've got a little bit of ability there. Just a little bit. No, it was great. It was a good flop. You left the face wide open. You got a lot of backspin. The ball hits the ground, and then all it has to do is release downhill. Right, see, I am a golf commentator. So this is one of the hardest hole locations on this green. I don't know, it's probably easiest. And this is the easiest hole location on this green.
So the reason I think this is difficult is because when you're above it, it looks like it's slanting downhill this way. So you want to aim left of the cup. I mean, you want to aim right of the cup so that it slants down into this corner. But the more you look at it, the more it, you perceive it to go the opposite way, which may or may not be true. If you dropped a bucket of water from a big height, where would you see the water traveling? If you landed that bucket of water where you are now, bosh, all the water would travel this way. Wouldn't it? Yeah, just straight down to that corner. Which means I've left myself directly a downhill putt. Other thing as well, what color grain have you got? What color grain? Yeah. I've got white, not dark. Black white and dark, isn't it? Yeah. 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 So that, that's going to speed dark, downhill. That's slow. That's slow, that first part, isn't it? And it's going to speed up here because the green's going with you, isn't it? Yeah. So coming across that, it might just hold it up and you might miss it left because of that. I'm still having a hard time figuring out where to aim. Go about half a cut this side. Okay. Because the, the grain's just probably going to drag it apart. See, I was thinking right edge. He's saying an inch to the left edge. And he was right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Because the, the grains just dragging it across the slope slope. Yeah. Foxy for birdie. Bit of working on the plane. Yeah. <laughs> well, thank you guys very much for watching the Swingdom. Subscribe, hit the notifications, get the bell. This is Foxy again, the pro over at Bovey Golf Center. And we're going to be working with him a lot. We're going to be doing golf lesson, I guess, Wednesdays or Thursdays. And we're and we'll see if we can sneak him out of the pro shop for uh, for other fun challenges. Challenges it is. Yeah. Challenges will be accepted. Is that your comb? That's definitely my comb. Should we go that way? Yeah. You've been watching the Sweetdom. Give us a thumbs up. Smash subscribe. Ring the bell for notifications.